Now we are going to journalize the five transactions in the journal book. Of course, journal book has got take column, particulars column, LF column, debit column and credit column. Now let us uh, um, see each transaction which to be debited, which account to be credited. First um, transaction, 2015 January 1st, Brown started a business with rupees 50,000. So in this, we are, I have told you, according to modern approach, we can classify. According to traditional approach also, we can classify. Now let us, it is easy method to classify under modern concept. Modern approach, it is very easy to classify the account. Now let us say, there are five components, I told you, in the modern accounting uh, classification. Number one, capital account. Number two, liabilities account. Number three, asset. Number four, revenue. Number five, expenses. Now let us see. Ram, Ram started a business with rupees 50,000. So Ram is a capital account. Ram is a capital account. So we have to write that Ram account in credit side. Okay. So now, now, so now let us see the under a modern approach, Ram account should be credited. And whom should be debited with rupees 50,000? That cash is an asset. Cash is an asset. So that a cash account should be, cash account should be debited. Okay, now let us see. Ram is a capital, come under the capital account because Ram is the owner of the business. Ram should be credited and cash, business start with 50,000 is cash account should be debited. Um, I'll give you a transaction now. Now, cash account should be written on the top. Now, let us write the date, 2000. 15, 1st January, whom to be debited, cash account should be debited, cash account debited to Ram's capital account, Ram's, here is 50,000, we'll write, and Ram's capital account, Credited with 50,000. Now we have to give the narration being Ram invested his amount in the business. Okay, one transition is over, draw the line. Second one, he deposited on 2nd January, deposited with cash in bank. So, here, cash account is um, an asset. Bank, he is also investing the same liquid cash in bank, is also an asset. So, here, one asset is, um, this bank account is a person who receiving the amount. Cash account is a, uh, sorry, bank account is a, an asset which receiving the money and cash account is a uh, crediting. It's a, whom should be credited? Cash account is giving the money and bank account is receiving the money. Now let us say, whom to be debited? Bank account should be debited and cash account should be credited. Second, same 2015, 2nd January, Receiver of the money is bank account. Giver of the money is cash account. Because being the amount deposited in the bank. Same 50,000 is deposited in the bank. This transaction gets over. Now another one. Purchased machinery for cash. P purchased machinery for cash 5000. Machinery is an asset. Okay. Machinery re receiver of the money is machinery account. Account should be debited. Who is the giver of the money? Cash. Cash account should be credited. Or we can say. Uh, because all the money is uh, invested in the bank, I mean deposited in the bank. So we can write here bank account. Okay, now uh, 2000, 
सस्टेन सस्त जनवरी मिशनरी अकाउंट अकाउंट इज डेबिटेड to bank account because all the money is deposited in the bank now uh, nothing is there in the office so we have to take the money from the um, giver of the money is bank account receiver of the money is machinery account same 5000 we have to write here both places both column being machinery purchased The next transaction, purchase goods from Sundar worth of rupees 30. So suppose that they purchase the goods uh, on cash basis means that the Sundar name will not be there. Just goods purchased for rupees 30, it will be like this. Uh, goods purchased, goods uh, purchase goods from, sorry, not from, from here it will not be there. Purchase goods worth of 30,000 means uh, purchase the goods on cash basis. So, who is the receiver of the money? Receiver of the money is purchase account. That means goods account. Giver of the money is cash account. Cash or bank account. Because the goods purchased from the supplier on credit basis, the name is given here. Okay. So what we have to do? Purchase account. The date is 2015. 10th Jan. They purchased. Purchase means here. Uh, goods account. Purchased. Uh, Goods account should be debited to whose account because the supplier Sundar, he has given of the benefit. So he should be credited. Receiver of the benefit is goods account. That means purchase of goods account. Giver of the benefit is Sundar account. Worth of 30,000. Being goods purchased on credit basis. That means the Sundar is a supplier of the goods. Then 2016, um, 20th January, sold goods to Balu worth of rupees 20,000. Suppose goods were sold on cash basis means this will not be there sold goods worth of rupees 20,000 will be there if suppose goods uh, sold on cash basis now it is sold on credit basis sold goods to borrow's account worth of rupees 20,000 now who is the receiver of the benefit here receiver 2015 date column we are trying 20th Jan. Receiver of the benefit is Balu. Balu's account should be debited. Giver of the benefit is sales account. By way of sales, we are giving him goods worth of rupees um, 20,000. That means he is a debtor for the company. Being goods sold on credit basis suppose goods sold on cash basis means here cash account will come bonus name will not be there because goods sold on credit basis bonus name is mentioned here so like this we have to do practice more journal entries here I have given simple five journal entries because of the uh, uh, board is uh, not sufficient enough. And like this, we have to do the journal entries nearly for 20 to 30 transactions in a month. That will do practice by doing more practice only we will get uh, into the uh, uh, mean, uh, thorough with the subject. Now we will wind up this up to this. Tomorrow we will continue with the next class.